Hi, I'm Dave Walsh, Editor-in-Chief of ASME.org, and I'm here at ASME's IMECI 2015 in Houston, Texas. Joining me today is Dr. Billy Cohn, Professor of Surgery, Baylor College of Medicine, and the Director of the Center of Technology and Innovation at the Texas Heart Institute. Dr. Cohn, thanks for being with us today. So how important would you say the field of bioengineering is to the world in general and, and humanity, basically? I see some of the amazing uh, innovations and in technology that have come out over the last decade or two and how it's benefited people that I know, people in my family. Uh, without innovation, we're all in trouble, and it's uh, bioengineers that help uh, fan those flames. What role did engineers, and specifically mechanical engineers, play in the development of the continuous flow artificial heart, which is what you're primarily known for? Sure, that's one of the most exciting projects I've been involved in in my professional career, and the concept is absolutely unique. This device was conceived of and developed by a mechanical engineer with the help of a team of brilliant, passionate mechanical engineers that he assembled. Let's give us some of the details and technical specs. Yeah, well, it's an amazing device. And you know, we all collectively, as an industry and as scientists, have been trying to develop an artificial heart for the last 50 years, because it's the number one cause of death across every demographic. But to do that, uh, the device has to beat 80 to 100 times a minute which is 130 or 140,000 times a day, 40 or 50 million times a year. No one's been able to do it. The devices fail. And so about six or seven years ago, we shifted focus to rapidly spinning turbines. Everybody said, well, you need a pulse, don't you? We never could answer the question before. Now we can, and I can say with great authority, you don't need a pulse. And the next generation of artificial hearts will have a single spinning member in it it's magnetically suspended, not touching anything. And I think now, for the first time, we have the artificial heart in our hand, something that's gonna affect every one of us. And what advice would you have for a, a surgeon or a bioengineer just starting out in the field today? Yeah, people that are starting off now have to be brave and have strength in their conviction. This is your life, and there's no cooler way to spend it than innovating to help your fellow man. So if you're young and you're considering this journey, I wholeheartedly endorse it and uh, do it with all your heart and all your energy.